My name is James Johnson from Nigeria, Africa. Formerly, I was living as a female. I was given birth to as a female and raised as a female uh, to my adulthood um, to an extent whereby I finally get to identify myself to be a male. Being a football player, representing Nigerian female national team and I play for the club side then in Nigeria. Many people uh, really find it difficult to really to understand what you are talking about when you say an intersex person. They were like, what is an intersex? You understand? And the moment they had to understand um, about what you are trying to explain to them, they automatically they will see you like you are not normal. That's what they will see it to be. I love playing football. It's been part of me since um, childhood, of which um, I grew up finding myself, you know, in school, playing football with the male side. Before you knew it, I started playing with the school teams, playing representing the male school team, uh, football team. And from there, I think uh, uh, a coach came to me and like, I think you will be a very good uh, representative to this country. They needed to know if you are a female or a male. So that contradicted the whole thing. So I was so unfortunate that I could not make the national team because I was dropped from the national team. My case was presented to the, uh, the minister in Abuja. The minister said, go and search for a doctor anywhere in the world. No matter the cost, he's going to fill the bill. I have two players that have the same issue of being an, uh, an intercess person. Now what do they need? They need the help of the government, which we are calling on the government to come out and help. These people are not the founder of themselves, neither they made themselves into the world. It's God that, that created them and made them into this world. Due to some of the newspaper publications and um, television um, uh, uh, interviews I have gone through to sensitize people concerning my case and like to let people know more about an intersex person. I think the problem we're having in Nigeria is lack of information. That's just the truth because people seem to want to understand that an intersex person are human.